Hello and welcome to another how-to video. My name is Ditech, also known as Dave, CTO at DVS here in Cardiff. Thank you for everybody that likes, shares and subscribes to our YouTube channel. We try to keep the content the best we can every week so you get to know all the little tips and tricks, all of the new products and what's happening out there in the bigger world of technology. So for all of you that came and saw us last week, it was IFSEC, we had a brilliant time there. We saw a massive, massive load of you here in the UK. For those of you that did make it along to our bar event, we thank you very much. We loved hosting you and we look forward to another event very, very soon. So that leads me on to today's video. What are we gonna look at today? So before we move any further, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell button if you wanna be notified of all our content as it happens. Okay, so two, re I nearly fell over then, two really cool things I wanna show you today. For the more astute, if you look over my shoulder there, right where my finger is, you will notice there is a brand new LCD keypad from Hypevision. This is the AX Pro alarm system from Hypevision. So it's a grade two battery operated uh, alarm system, wireless, PD662 also for those of you in the UK that require that standard. There is options for dual path signaling with Wi-Fi, LAN or the SIM card. This is a brand new product. It's an LCD keypad. One of the first in the country. Some other countries are already just selling this. This is a brand new product and I will do a standalone video on this. But you can see here, this is the LCD keypad. Da -da. So battery operated again, has a built-in tag reader. So it comes with oops, three tags in the box already. So you can use this as a keypad or a tag reader. So absolutely fantastic. It does have customizable LCD text on there. So on here, we can customize the text. I'll show you that briefly in a minute. So just hold on. But it's a much neater way for your customer to interact with the system if they want to arm, disarm, see the faults, etc. Of course, we can use the app. We can use the older keypad, which is just a numeric keypad. And there is also a dedicated tag reader. They all work. They're all perfectly acceptable. This is a new way to interact with the system and we've been driving this for quite a number of years about two years effectively and we're really excited that we've got this here on test and i'll give you a very very quick overview but there will be a dedicated video showing you how that works the main purpose of today's video is these two things yeah so a color view camera so it's the wireless pir with built-in color view camera technology why you hear me ask well there's two versions of pirs one with color view technology and one with a standard infrared chipset. So when it's dark in the house, so you set the alarm. So let's set the scene. You set the alarm or you set an area, perhaps somebody walks in that area, the PIR is triggered. It will notify the app, uh, whether it's silent or not, depending on your setup, it can ring the bell, but it will also send up to 10 images of that event to your mobile phone. I'm filming on my mobile phone, but I will show you that shortly. The color view camera takes it another step further. It will use a white light in the PIR to give you a colorful image. Why is that important? Well, it's all about evidence at this point. So we get to see clearly the object, the person, what triggered the alarm, so it's visual verification. And that's super important because if there is somebody in the area or in that property, you want as much detail as possible from your intruder alarm system to give you every opportunity, one, to identify if they should or shouldn't be there, two, why they're there, and three, who it is potentially, but also make a very informed decision of what the next step may be, whether it's call the police, whether it's call a key holder, call your neighbor, go downstairs with a sledgehammer, etc. It really does depend on what that image shows. And sometimes it may be a false alarm, like all alarms, sometimes there is false alarms, and it may be something not to worry about. We all have CCTV, or a large majority of us have CCTV on the external of the building, the great thing with the Hype Vision AX Pro and Hype Connect app is you can link that all together. So an activation inside the property can link a camera outside the property. So you now get a full picture, situational awareness of what's going on. Add in the PIR cameras, now you get coverage inside the building. Absolutely fantastic. So I'm gonna show you the difference between a standard infrared image with the lights on. So color view and infrared will trigger them both at the same time and you'll see what they're like day when the lights on we'll leave the lights on and do that test and then we'll turn the lights off in this room and then re-trigger those two PIRs and see the difference between white light and infrared again now it is a little bit difficult with the 
colour view. I might have to do these separately because I don't want the colour view one to affect the infrared one at night. But we'll see how it goes. I may uh, add another little step into here. Super excited about this. And like I said, if I take you off here and I show you this LCD keypad. So a close-up view of the LCD keypad. So tag reader, like I said, numeric, LCD. If I wake it up, so DVS HQ with our phone number, with the time on there. So it allows us to customize the text through the Hype Connect app. How sweet and cool is that? So that's another video, but I really wanted to show you what that looked like. Okay, so I'm gonna transfer you to the app now. We're gonna arm this area. I've created an area with these two devices in, so they're both armed simultaneously. Hang fire. Okay, so we've opened up the Hike Connect app. This is the simple app interface to our AX Pro, as you can see in the screen here. So we're gonna open it by clicking on this. And you can see I have four areas. On the bottom right hand side, I have the PIR cameras. Both PIR cameras are added into the same area, so they both arm simultaneously. I set it to silent alarm, so when I trigger it, it won't trigger the external bell and the internal sounder. While I'm filming, I don't want that noise going off. Equally, they could be on instant or a bell delay. That's really up to you. So we're gonna arm this area by pressing the man leave button. That is now armed. And as you can probably hear that, it said armed. Next thing I'm going to do is trigger both of those detectors. We'll wait 30 seconds for that image to come through and we can compare the infrared with the color view images. So we're gonna go and trigger this now. And they both did trigger at the same time. They are both in the same area. So they're very comparable images. And we'll wait for these images to come through. It might take 20 to 30 seconds for them to upload the images to the app via my Wi-Fi. So just hang on and rejoin me when we get that. Okay, so I now have disarmed the app or disarm the alarm through the app, should I say. And you can see they're both triggered at the same time. So we have burglary alarm for the AX Pro, the PIR camera, and then one for the color view camera. So bearing in mind, the lights are on now. So if I look at the PIR camera itself, you can see triggered there. If I click on play, and you can see the 10 images to form a mini movie effectively. They're 640 resolution, but you can see who I am and you know sort of my intention effectively. Uh, again, play that again. So it is, they are working on a much higher resolution uh, camera as well, but currently it comes through a sort of VGA quality. So yeah, reasonably good. And again, if I go down to the color view camera and do that, arguably slightly better color rendition in that, but effectively the same. They're mounted at the same um, field of view, so they, they are capturing the same thing. But again, arguably still very, very good. I think the color view is slightly better and um, where it will come into its own is now when we turn the lights off and we arm it again with the lights off. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to turn the lights off, arm it and then trigger them again. So stay tuned. Okay, so we've done the test. I turned all of the lights off in the demo room and effectively it was pitch black in here, which you could say represents quite a normal uh, nighttime uh, activation. Again, the more light you put in from ac ac accessories like lights, LEDs, etc., will enhance the image performance of the color view. So if I look at first um, the activation on the standard PIR camera, you can see there it's actually quite a good image. It is in infrared. You could probably make out who I am from that, although I am probably quite recognizable in the video content. But again, that's not a bad image. And that's what the standard PIR with infrared camera looks like. If I go to the color view, it is in color. Um, you can see it could probably do with more color in here. Um, but it does give you a little bit more detail. The room uh, from the white light that's built into the PIR camera itself, um, it does sort of give you that white light in the area. Effectively, if it's a smaller area, so if it's a smaller room or it's more focused, um, it will enhance the image quality because more white light is, uh, you know, contained within that small area. On a larger space, you know, you still you start start to lose that effect. And again, it is a pitch black room, but you can see there. 
which it is added the color into it you know though the one thing i have noted is the black comes through as more of a ready color so that's something that i will investigate um, but again it is classed as a low light camera uh, and the technology is constantly improving but that is the difference between a color view and an infrared so you can make an informed decision arguably they both have benefits and both have uh, use uses in different applications it does really depend on how you want to interact with that okay so that's the testing done um quite interested to see the results the color view uh, when i've seen it actually live and especially in my house when i've seen it in other properties it does actually perform a lot better like i said you know it's a smaller space the white light is more focused on the object uh, and there is sometimes like an accessory lighting uh, at night time which can really enhance that color image the more color you can give it or the more light the more color the more beneficial as evidence that becomes but they both have very great uses the app is super easy to use very responsive very quick to come over and like i say for those people that want an additional layer of protection inside their property so you've got the camera and again you can only see the images once the system is armed and triggered, you can't pull a live view image off this, so your privacy will be maintained. There's no way of adding that camera to an NVR DVR as a permanent feed. It only sends it on activation once armed. Again, so privacy is maintained and it'll keep that battery life. Super, super cool. If you haven't checked out the AX Pro range, please go check it out, especially these new accessories that are coming through. And you know, the LCD keypad is just one of those. Um, but there is a lot of new accessories coming through to the market. A super exciting place to be. Any questions, leave them in the comments below. We're always happy to help you guys, wherever you are in the world. Your comments fuel us to keep making these con this content. So thank you very, very much. Wherever you are in the world, have a great week. And we'll see you next week for another how-to video.